Alright, so please excuse me if I look like a wreck because it's really early in the morning and I'm exhausted. And I'm getting ready to go watch many hours of hard rock, so let's power through this. First I'm just spraying my face with Fix Plus, just kind of hydrate my skin and wake myself up. And now I'm priming my skin with MAC Prep and Prime. Please excuse me, but this coffee right now is like manna from heaven. For my foundation, I'm going to be using Revlon Color Stay, and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of my L'Oreal True Match to lighten it up because I am fake tan, but it's still a little dark. So after I mix it up, I'm just going to color test it on my neck to make sure it matches the rest of my body. Then I'm just going to buff it all over my face with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki. Next, to darken a little bit of the outer perimeter of my face, I'm just going to take this Dream Matte Mousse foundation and put it kind of where I would normally put my bronzer, and then I'm just going to buff that in with the same brush, and it's just going to kind of act like a cream bronzer um, and just give me a little bit more dimension. And once again, can't get enough. Under my eyes, I'm just going to go in with my usual MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and buff that in also with my Sigma Tapered Kabuki, which I've recently become in love with for my under eye concealer because it just kind of airbrushes it. Then I'm just going to set my under eyes and the rest of my face with my usual Makeup Forever HD Translucent Powder. I'm just going to go in with my Bare Minerals Real Rusted and put that on any other blemishes that haven't been completely concealed. Then I'm just going to go in with my Hoola Bronzer, which is on its last leg. And I'm just going to apply that where I usually apply my bronzer and kind of buff it over where I put the darker foundation earlier, just so everything is really well blended. Then I'm just contouring as per usual with my Anastasia Contour Kit. And I'm just setting my face really quick before I move on to everything else, just so everything sits down nicely. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate. And right now my eyebrows are really grown out, so they're gonna come out really, really thick, but I'm going to have my bangs down today, so I just can't be bothered to care. And I'm priming my eyes with my Essence Eye Heart Stage Eyeshadow Primer. And today I'm going to use my Urban Decay Pulp Fiction palette, which is kind of the love of my life when it comes to neutral palettes. And I'm just going to start with the warm brown color and buff that into my crease. Next I'm taking the matte nude shade with my finger and I'm just going to press that on the lower half of my lid.
I'm just going to go in quickly with my Color Mates palette and press that shimmery white shadow from it over where I put the nude shadow earlier. And then I'm going back in with the dark brown from the Pulp Fiction palette and just putting that in my outer V and buffing it into the crease. And as usual, I am cleaning up the shape of my eyeshadow with a Q-tip. And I'm going in with Max Smolder Eye Pencil and just tight lining my eyes. Now I'm going in with a liquid liner and I'm just doing my usual winged eyeliner. Um, I'm using this Jessie's Girl liquid liner pen and I'm not gonna lie, I really don't like it. Uh, people talk a lot of game about this pen and I kind of hate it. Um, but my Kat Von D one is all dried up and I have to get a new one so I'm just using this for now. Not a fan. And now I'm highlighting with my usual Lancome color design highlighter. Now I'm taking that dark brown color that I used in my outer V of my eye and I'm just dragging it along the lower lash line. Does anybody else have this problem? The crease of my eye is lower on one eye than it is on the other and it always looks uneven no matter what I do and it drives me crazy. Now I'm just taking that smolder eye pencil and putting it in my waterline and I'm also going to take a smudger brush and buff it into the lower lash line just to make it a little darker. Now for mascara, first I'm going to go in with my Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced and then after that I'm going to layer my Maybelline Illegal Length over it and it just makes my eyelashes look huge. I decided I wanted a little bit more depth, so I'm taking the black from the Pulp Fiction palette and I'm just putting it lightly a little bit in my outer V. And that's the eyes done. For blush, I'm going in with Luminoso by Milani as per usual because it's my favorite. And I'm going to highlight with the shimmery highlight color from my Anastasia Contour Kit. For my lips, I'm going in with my Essence Lip Liner in Satin Mauve. And then I'm going to apply a nude lip gloss over the top. And finally, I'm just going to set my makeup with Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Alright, that's the makeup done. I really like it. It's nice and smoky and dark, so I will be right back with my outfit. Alright, I just curled my hair with my extensions in like I usually do. And my outfit, both my top and my shorts are from Forever 21, and I love both of them. I wear them all the time. These shorts are literally my favorite thing I think I've ever bought. They're so comfortable, and I love them because the back is so much longer than the front, so your booty's not hanging out. My necklace is the same necklace I wear every day. Um, I never take it off. Um, I just kind of collect charms for it. This one's from Ireland, this one's also from Ireland, and this one is from Costa Rica. And finally, my sandals are from H&M. I wear them also almost every day in the summer. Um, they're just black, strappy sandals with little silver studs. I think they're really cute. All right, that's it, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching.